Wisteria Cottage, another apartment building which uh, was part of the Hatch family property back in the middle 1800s. The, uh, my great-grandfather, James Thomas Hatch, uh, did own the uh, King's Arms. Among uh, other properties, he had Wisteria Cottage, Eastgate, which um, I, I presume that if he was overcrowded in the uh, in the hotel, he could move people over to the uh, apartment buildings. Uh, that I don't know, but uh, it's a conjecture on my part. And uh, he uh, finally gave up. Uh, the hotel and moved across to Ovi's farm. Uh, my uh, grandfather uh, was uh, moved into uh, with my grandmother into Wisteria Cottage and uh, my great uh, uncle uh, was uh, Alfred Thomas uh, was in Eastgate. Now Alfred Thomas, as I've told you, also had interests in uh, Hall's Corner, at the corner of School Lane and Sutton Road, uh, because there was a large orchard there. And uh, fruiterer seemed to be uh, one of the things that he, uh, uh, having fruit trees and so forth, he made a living out of that as well. Now, uh, the thing is that my grandfather, and I haven't got quite the year he died, but when he died, uh, my grandfather uh, moved into Ovis Farm from Wisteria Cottage, and my great-grandmother, Marina, moved into Wisteria Cottage. And uh, so it went on until uh, my grandfather died in 1915 and uh, my father didn't want to take on the farm. He was more interested in his being a butcher. So uh, my grandmother sold up and moved back into Wisteria Cottage. And she stayed in Wisteria Cottage with Emma Searle who had been a uh, family retainer, shall we say, and uh, looked after the children, nursemaid, general mother's help. And she stayed with my grandmother until she died. But the pair of them uh, were in Wisteria Cottage. In 1936, my grandfather, uh, grandmother, <laughs> get this right, my grandmother uh, sold up and moved to a duplex house in Gordon Road, Maidenhead. And uh, half of the house uh, duplex uh, was, uh, she moved in with Emma, Emma Searle, and my Aunt Flo. And next door was uh, my Uncle Fred Seymour and my Aunt Peggy and uh, my cousin uh, ja Janet. So uh, that's where the uh, moved. So uh, that's about the story I can tell at the moment. But it's, uh, it's a long history. And uh, there's some more that I will dig up. But that's more of the family history. So I will say bye for now. And... Uh, Hope you've enjoyed it. Bye for now.